so today we will discuss sound isn't it yes so can you define what is sound namisha so sound is a, a type of energy is a form of energy which make us hear something okay good you have gone through this chapter or has it been covered in your class no so not covered yet okay so is vibration a requirement for the production of sound yes sir is vibration required naman yes sir for sound can you explain it with an experiment yes so we can take a example of our human body also sir when we want to produce the sound our uh, air from a uh, our air pipe closes and the lungs trap the air so that and that vibrates so that we can uh, make sounds okay what is that organ called which vibrates or moves sir so, what is that part adam called adam huh adam sapul nimisha vocal cord sir so larynx cord larynx okay good what is the spelling of it so l a r y x y n x larynx okay that figure you can draw if it comes in your test larynx yes so practice for that it is given in your book isn't it okay yes. so concept is clear now vibration is required propagation of sound how the propagation of sound takes place are you aware propagation of sound what does so it mean the meaning of propagation sir nimisha do you know the meaning no sir. means moves forward how the sound moves forward okay if i am yes. speaking something sir, ah, no. oh. sir no, in the form of waves ah in the form of waves okay sir sound travels in the form of waves ha ah, good good suppose this is a wave okay what is happening whenever we are producing a sound or we are telling something so by what medium that sound travels samar can you tell me sir no not audible if i am speaking from here something okay and here also there Sir, is a person air. air yes good so this person is hearing only because there is air in this space which moves whenever we produce a sound this air vibrates or moves in different positions and this and then then the vibration also the magnitude of the vibration also decreases as the distance increases isn't it if the distance increases the magnitude will decrease if the wave is like this then it becomes like this then it becomes like and then it vanishes isn't it so there is a range of each and every sound this much is understood yes yes so what is the meaning of magnitude is it understood magnitude meaning magnitude what is the meaning of magnitude no idea no see if there is a wave like this okay so this is the magnitude this one suppose it is two units okay and this magnitude is less it is about 1 and this is all more or less suppose this is about half so the amount is decreasing isn't it or yes. you can say the uh, volume of the sound is decreasing isn't it so that is called the magnitude first it was 2 then it becomes 1 then it becomes half then it diminishes and at last it will be zero at a certain distance the volume will not reach isn't it every volume yes. is having some range so this is called magnitude and what is the meaning of frequency can you tell me frequency frequency of sound have you heard of frequency the number of the number of oscillations completed by a pendulum 
number in of second is one second is per frequency okay that is also okay number of cycles per second number of cycles that occur in a second okay understood yes this is called frequency and the unit of frequency is hertz hertz yes either you write cycles per second or you write hertz both are almost same okay and uh, what is the range of hearing for human ear huh? what frequency is hearable by uh, human being ear uh, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz have you heard of this no so please remember this this is the range that a human ear can hear okay there are many sounds produced but we hear only the sounds which are within this frequency range 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz now it is understood yes, yes sir okay now i am clearing this page if you want to have a screenshot you can take it take it sir. okay now have you heard of time period time period t which is equal to 1 by f where f is called the frequency have you heard of pendulum yes yes sir have you seen that there are oscillations occurring in that yes so what yes, was sir. time period we have discussed before this oscillates yes. in this manner isn't it yes so time taken for one oscillation is called time period, time period isn't it or number of cycles completed in one second that is also called as time taken for completion in t is equal to i am writing 1 by f okay so this is called as time period now uh, frequency range is our 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz isn't it so whenever you are given a certain frequency so you can find the time period by this formula yes isn't it yes so there are calculations also which i think examples may be given in your book also yes uh, please check that okay now sound needs a medium for propagation it can be what solid liquid gas anything it may be air okay yes yes but it needs it can sound be produced in a cylindrical object which is having vacuum no air in it here there no, is vacuum sir. in it so no, sir. good sound can't no, be produced sir. in a place which is in vacuum okay where there is no medium to travel for that okay because nothing will get vibrated isn't it okay uh, same is the case in moon on moon also sound can't be produced why do you know so because uh, there is no air there is no atmosphere of moon okay so the question can yeah. be indirectly coming in your test that why there is no sound on the moon okay okay yes. this is clear now what is the speed of sound in air no it's not mentioned so the speed of sound in speed of sound it is not mentioned in your book 340 meter per second sir 343 Three four three is the exact one, okay. okay. Per second, it is also called as one mac. Okay, the speed of aircraft, fighter aircraft, is also measured in max. Okay, and the speed in water is fifteen hundred meter per second. Speed yes, in sir. iron or steel is five thousand meter 5, per second. 000. But that you don't have to remember. You have to remember this one: speed of sound in air. Okay, this is in air. Because the questions will be based on this formula only or this parameter only. Okay, that is understood? Yes. Okay. Sound travels slower than light. Sound travels slower than light. Can you give some live example of this? Yes, sir. What? Sir, so mm -hmm. when thunderstorm came, then first lightning, uh, a flash of lightning come, and yeah. after some time, we get to hear some sound. 
very good that is the best example that you can give and also draw a diagram for that okay now what is the speed of light do you know 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second okay this is the speed of light and speed of sound we already know 340 meters per second so there is a large variation among the speed of light and sound isn't it yes so if the, you are told to write a paragraph on this which one is having more speed you can use these parameters also if you remember and that will help you a lot and these calculations will be required in future also everywhere okay amplitude time period and frequency of vibration uh, frequency of vibration okay there's one question also given i am clearing this page if you want to have a screenshot please take it quickly yeah. Okay. Now there's a question. A pendulum makes 15 oscillations. Okay. 15 oscillations in 5 seconds. In 5 seconds. What is the frequency of the pendulum? Okay. You have to find the frequency. Try for it. And number one, your video is not ever. Let me read. Samarth, your voice is not clear. Sir, three. Three. This is your answer? Nimisha? Yes, sir. Okay. Nimisha, what's your answer? Three only, sir. How? Naman? Two. Four. Two. What? Sir, I didn't understand the question. So F stands for frequency. Isn't yes. it? A pendulum makes 50 oscillations in one second, in sorry, five seconds. And what was the definition for frequency that I told? The frequency is the number of times pendulum. Number of cycles completed in one second. Yes. Okay, see, T is equal to 1 by F or you can write F equal to 1 by T. Yes. Okay. So the opposite of time period. Okay. So in yes. five seconds, okay, how many oscillations are there? 15 oscillations are there. So in one second, how much oscillations will be there? 15 by 5 equal to three oscillations. Yes. So the frequency is three oscillations per second, isn't it? Yes. And why your video is not available? Yes. You are sleeping and attending the class? No, sir. Then you are playing and attending the class? No, sir. Then how can I be sure? I am in doubt. Why your video is not available? You are in Patna only, no? Yes. Then Patna is such a lovely place, such a big city. The signal should be available there. Yes. Then? Switch off yes. and switch on the videos. Uh, now that such such a bright face you are having and you are hiding it. Okay, take a screenshot of this. Take it. Time period. Okay. I am clearing this page. Second question. What is the time period of the pendulum? I am not writing the whole question. You have to find the time period. Okay. What is the time period of a pendulum which is vibrating with a frequency of what? 10 hertz. Okay. Now frequency you have been given, you have to find the time period. Can you calculate? Try it.
Misha still calculating or waiting for me to respond? So one second. Okay, I'm waiting for one second. No, sir, my answer is one second. Okay, your answer is one second. Okay, one second by Nimisha. Naman? So one by 10 seconds it is coming. One by 10 seconds by Naman. Samarth, are you there? So T equal to what formula, Nimisha, we know? One, one by, by one by f, which will be equal to one by what? One ten. Why one? Ten. You are just telling ten like that. So Naman is the right person to calculate rightly. Okay, this is one by ten seconds. This is the answer. Or you can also write it as zero point one second, isn't it? Yes. So this was just a simple logic, isn't it? Okay, take a screenshot. Such questions will be coming in your test also. Take it. Okay. Now, uh, okay. Audible and inaudible sound. Can you differentiate between them? Audible sound and inaudible. What is the difference between them? Miss Nimisha, can you differentiate? So audible sound are the sound hmm. which we can hear and inaudible hmm. sound are the sound which we cannot hear. Okay. And what sound we can hear? The so our voice. The sounds which are in frequency range of what? Uh, air. 20, uh, 20 hertz to uh, 20 kilohertz. 20 kilohertz means how much hertz? So 20,000 20, hertz. 20,000 hertz. Okay. And out of this range will be coming in inaudible sound. Okay. Yes. Yes. Now the sound which can be heard by human ear, isn't it? Because there may be sounds which are out of this range, but they can be hearable by other animals. Maybe whatever it is, bird or animal, whatever it may be. Okay. Now what are ultrasonic sound? So, ultrasonic. Sound. The ultrasonic sound. So we can take an example of a, a, a jet air, a jet a jet air. So when it is moving, uh, it is moving with the uh, speed of sound. So, so then it is produced. Uh, then it is a sound. See, uh, can sound. you hear the sound made by uh, aircrafts, this fighter aircraft or whatever it may be, or jets? Yes. Sir. So that is not ultrasonic. Ultrasonic is the sound which we can't hear. That is above 20 kilohertz. The upper range was 20 kilohertz. If more than that, the sound is being produced with more than uh, this frequency, then it is called as ultrasonic. Okay. Okay. And so this, can be, this can be heard by bats. Bats means not cricket bat. Okay. So. Bats, you know, bats? Yes, sir. Yes. Bats can hear this. Dogs, monkeys, deer, leopards, all can hear this ultrasonic sound. Okay? Sir? Yes. Any example of ultrasonic sound? Any example of ultrasonic sound? That yes, is very sir. difficult to say because we have not heard that sound any time. That is above 20 kilohertz, no? Yes, there may be many uh, animals which can produce this sound, but we don't know. There are many animals which can produce lower frequency than 20 hertz. A small yes. insect, that also we can't hear, isn't it? Yes. Because there is vibration either uh, in minor scale or in major scale. But vibrations is occurring everywhere, every time, isn't it? But we can't hear all the sound. Okay? Yes. Okay, musical instruments. So there are many uh, topics like noise pollution. That is just a paragraph like you can see that. What is that? Harms of noise pollution. Measures to control. You can do that yourself. Hearing impairment, or damaged hearing. 
तो जो सुनना पाए डेफ तो इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ वॉट हियरिंग इम्पेयरमेंट इसका मीनिंग क्या निमिषा हाउ कैन यू डिफाइन कर ली फिगर ऑफ ह्यूमन इयर इज देयर इन योर बुक Yes. yes. So you can draw that. So you have to practice for that also. Now, amplitude, time period, frequency. We have covered characteristics of sound. What are the main characteristics of sound? Characteristics of sound. First is what loudness. Okay. L O U D loudness. With what loudness the sound has been produced? Okay. Or it is related to what magnitude? Okay. Yes. The greater the magnitude, the greater will be the loudness of the sound, isn't it? And what other characteristic sound has? Pitch. Like how the sound can be differentiated between men and women due to the pitch only. Okay. So this is called pitch. Now, what is the definition of pitch? Pitch is the characteristics of sound by which we can distinguish between different sounds of the same loudness. Means loudness is the same, but the pitch is different. Okay. What is that? The pitch of a sound depends on the frequency of vibration. Okay. frequency of vibration okay vibration what does that mean see here the magnitude is same but the frequency of vibration is different so how can it be represented in a graph suppose i am drawing this graph or wave okay and here also that is being drawn now the magnitude of this and this is same isn't it yes sir but the frequency is different can you identify yes suppose i am writing here one second from where to where from here to here this is one second and here also if i am writing one second from here to here this is called this is also one second okay in the same time period the waves are different Now, which one is having greater frequency, Nimisha? First one or the second one? Second one. Why? So because it has many waves. Uh, many waves means one wave is from here to where, here to here, isn't it? From this yes. point it started, and at this point it is ending, isn't it? Here yes. from here it started, and here it is ending, ending. isn't it? So here. There are more number of waves, or the number of cycles per second is how much? One is this. Well, this is two, and this is three. And this here also you can complete with. It is like this. Okay. From here it started. From here to here. So one cycle, two cycles, three cycles, and four cycles are there, isn't it? Four cycles per second, or four hertz. Okay. And here. One cycle here, one point five. You can say one point five cycles per second, or one point five hertz, isn't it? So this is the difference by which you can differentiate the sound between men and women. So you can identify that this is this is the sound of a man. This is sound of a woman, isn't it? So this is called pitch. You can write about it. Yes. Then third characteristic is quality of the sound, isn't it? Uh, can i clear this or have a screenshot of this yes taken taken okay. so what is quality can you tell me define
Hello. Anyone? Because so some sounds are like very hard to hear. Some are very Why? smooth. Why it happens? See, if I am having different objects in my hand, in my right hand, I am having a different object. In my left hand, I am having a different object. And with the same speed and with the same hammer, I am making a sound with it. But the sounds are different. Why it is occurring? Here, if there is an object A, okay, and here there is an object B, and there is a hammer, okay, which means, and here also there is a hammer. The same hammer is used for both the experiments. If I am hitting by this hammer on this with the same effort and on this with the same effort, okay, this is making one sound and this is making other sound. Here the frequency is different, which is F1. Here the frequency is different, which is F2. Here maybe the wave is like this. And here maybe the wave is like this. Isn't it? So why it occurs? Anyone? Naman? Yes. Can you tell me why it occurs? Why uh, different sounds are produced when we are using the same hammer? Just the objects are different. Due to the so because of, of the wavelengths. No. Because of the different properties of different objects. So different materials. Objects, different materials have different properties. Na? Yes. If you are taking yes. a plastic, you are taking a metal. In metal also there are a lot of different um, types of metals are there, isn't it? Yes. If you are taking copper, if you are taking iron, you are taking, taking some other thing, if you are taking a glass, the glass may also break if you are uh, making more force on that, isn't it? So, this it is. So, uh, three characteristics we have learned of. What are the three characteristics? Three characteristics of sound we have learned. First was loudness, then was pitch, and then was quality. quality. So, this comes under quality. Take a screenshot of this also. And draw such diagrams in your test and write the statements that I am telling. That will be much useful for you in your tests and exams. The teacher or the examiner will be very happy if you use such figures and explain in that way. Okay. Suppose we are taking two objects, one A and B, and we are hammering it with the same force, but they are making different sounds because of the different materials, as different materials have different properties, isn't it? So three characteristics we have seen. Any doubt in these three characteristics? You can no, explain that. You can explain time period, frequency, isn't it? Audible, inaudible, frequency range, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, time period if you are told to calculate, if you are told to calculate the frequency, you can do all that? Yes. yes. So I think all the important topics have been explained. And now there are something that you can study yourself, like how to, what are the measures to control noise pollution? What are the harms of noise pollution? Okay, that you can explain yourself. There's nothing much. Just try to solve the questions, mathematical questions uh, given in your exercise. If you're not able to, then please tell me. Okay, we will discuss that in tomorrow's class. Okay, any doubt in the quiz today? Or you will do that after yes, the answers are seen. You will practice that. Yes. Because in squares and square roots and cubes and cube, cube roots, you have to practice now. I have taken a lot of classes for that. Then we will move to yes. what are the uh, different topics that we have to cover now in mathematics. Next is what? Playing with numbers is there, I think. Then algebraic expressions are there. So we will have playing yes. with numbers and algebraic expressions is also interesting. Okay. So don't wait yes. for the teacher to complete it in the class. Okay. Just cover it fast and revise it as fast as possible. Okay. Okay. So please revise this chapter also once more. And I'm ending the class. Thank you so much. Welcome. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Welcome.